everyone this is Marguerite with a junk envelope journal um, I made this by collecting a bunch of envelopes that you get in the mail usually they are return business reply um, mail envelopes so I just put them like this or this and what I would do is open them up and turn them around and use them in different ways or not open them up and just tape them in and then use the um, openings here as normal to put things inside. So this is not my own idea. This is something that many, many people have done before. Um, recently, I saw a video by Shannon Green uh, where she made one that was really amazing that I uh, got a lot of inf inspiration from. Um, this is something similar. I've added my own um, different kinds of envelopes as well. So, of course, everyone has their own take on how they do it. So I put it together very simply, used washi tape to bind it. Um, there's no sewing or stitching or anything of that sort. And then once I was done with it, it looked very plain and I decided that I needed to decorate it somehow, uh, embellish it, and I used a lot of my stickers and paper source from Teresa Collins far and away. I had these paper pads from, well, years and years ago, the big ones, the 12 by 12, Teresa Collins, far and away, and I had been using them, it's taking me years to use it up, and so here was another opportunity for me to um, use it in this little junk mail journal. So let's see with this first one, yeah, this one I did not split, this one is just an envelope, turned oh actually it's turned backwards and just decorated embellished with washi tape so here is the main piece that attaches the next envelope on to um, into the book so I guess the the, the longest process um, the longest part of putting this all together was getting enough of the right kinds of envelopes that were going to work um, you know just collecting until you have the right consistency of what you want to do so just added stuff onto it sometimes I covered things up sometimes I didn't it doesn't really make a difference this is a single piece of paper on this side it has a it's a nice map so I just attached it in again here here's the washi tape that holds it together. Here is an envelope that is a, was a long envelope and then I just folded the bottom up and attached some double-sided tape on this side here to make an additional little pocket. And then use this piece of washi tape to attach it to this red envelope. This came from Target. This was a credit card statement from Target Red Card. Um, but it has a really neat red pattern to it that worked really well with the um, other paper and the theme that I was going with here. So this opens here and there's a little space to put something. Here's a small envelope, but again, just I've used a single piece of washi tape the length of the next envelope. And here I had more, again, this was the 6x6 paper pad that I had made into a small notebook. And I just stuck that in there. Here this is a um, paper bag. And let's see what I did with this one. This one I attached with double-sided tape, I guess here, and here to make a pocket out of this and put the washi tape here to hold those two together. 
and on the other side, so here you can see the paper bag. So of course, you know, you could put something in here. On the other side is just a small glassine envelope with a rubber stamp on it. Washi tape to the next piece. This one is kept pretty simple. My computer's telling me something. Um, this is just a postcard, kind of hinged in here. This green one is the is the washi tape that holds the next envelope in place. And then here is the last one. This one I kept the flap on the other side and, or actually did I put it in? Whatever, maybe it's on the inside. And then just kept it very plain on the back as well. So that's it. You can do a ton, a ton of things with these kinds of envelope journals. They're super easy to make, takes no time at all. And then you just, you know, use your time to embellish or decorate however you want. That's it. Thanks for watching.